Where are we going today, Ben? We're going to go see Thor something. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thor something. Uh, so, okay. So, in like one to two sentences. Spoilers. In, yeah, spoilers. Fill in what I need to know if hypothetically I hadn't seen the last Thor movie. <laughs> or the last Avengers movie. And um, I think only the Thor movie will count. The last okay. Thor movie, um, elves show up, they beat the elves. Ooh, elves. Um, Loki fakes his death and dress up as Still Odin. Still bad guy? Still bad guy. Okay. Yeah, he pretends to be a good guy. It looks like he dies. Um, at the end of the movie, Thor goes to his dad like, "Hey, you're summoning out a hero." Like they have like, heart and it's heart Loki moment. pretending to be Thor. Loki to pretend to be Odin. Odin, yeah, yeah. So like, they uh, have the heart to heart. Thor yeah. leaves, and then you see Odin turn into Loki. No, what's happened to Odin? We don't know. We don't know. And he was, he was just being an asshole in the movie, and then he's just not there at the end. Mm, he got, he um, got murdered. Thor's mama died. Oh, mama died. She went like a badass, so. Cool, cool. Uh, in the Doctor Strange movie, mm -hmm. there's an after credit scene where uh, Thor is there. No, she's like, hey, you're in New York. What are you doing here? Like, I'm just looking for my brother. Yeah. Like, and if you find your brother, leave. Like, yeah. Okay, well, let's. I'll help you do that. Cool. I don't know if that will tie into this. Is that for this? Okay, but there hasn't been one since then. I have not. Um, there's a silver. <laughs> Get a tight. Excuse me. <laughs> There was a Civil War movie. Yes. Thor and Hulk were not in it. No Thor or Hulk. Nope. Ah, they lost the beefcakes. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? The beef is like, no. <laughs> This might happen during that. And okay. I explain why they weren't there. Or I don't know. They're off doing things. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yes. Is this the one where we see the two of them in like a, like in one of the like trailers? The Coliseum. The Coliseum thing. Yep. Cool. That is this movie. Okay. So I may have only missed one. Yeah. I saw the Doctor Strange thing, and I saw the first couple. I saw the first Thor one. And yeah, other you should be okay. Things, so, Like, the bad guys don't really matter in the second Thor movie. Like, the Dark Elves, they want to turn everything into darkness. So to stand alone, elfy badness. Yeah. And they get beaten. Cool. Cool. So. Are you excited about this one? Yes. Also... Potentially in big squishy chairs because it's a different theater than usual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to a fancy one with leather reclining seats. Whoa! Uh, is this the one we saw the um, Star Wars at? I don't know. I don't know. There's so many of the, the fancy leathers these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the finest of leathers. So, what are you looking forward to in this movie? Um, I don't know. I think it'll be fun. I think it might be good is like turn your brain off, watch. Yeah. Have you read any of these comics? No. So okay, so we don't. I mean, Ragnarok. Do we know anything about that in, the, in like <laughs> in the? I mean, it's sort of like mythology. The, it's like the end of the world type thing. Okay. Like, the big snake comes and eats everything. Okay. And they have this badass looking woman with antlers, kind yeah. of being deathy, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Um, in the comics, they do. They've done Ragnarok a couple times for like. Is it like Armageddon, or is it like a place, it, or is it like a person? It's like Armageddon, cool. pretty much. <clears throat> the end of days. Cool. Um, there's also a comic called Planet Hulk, hmm. where like, the Avengers get sick of the Hulk shit. Like, you know what? We're just going to shoot you out into space. Oh, and he populates a whole planet? Oh, he, he lands on a planet. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Yeah, Full weird. of Hulk babies. <laughs> Like, he lands on a planet and like, he gets enslaved and is pretty much the gladiator but with the Hulk. So this is probably that as well? It might make a reference to it. His, his armor is straight up that armor from the comic. So maybe either earlier or later Thor ends up on that planet. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> I think that might just might be taking bits of that and throwing it into it. A... Is he angry? Like, So more Hulk. Yeah. Hulk understanding here. Is he like because he thought he had to be angry to Hulk out. Does it turn out that he, like, stays it for a long period of time? <laughs> he can. He can, like, just maintain the Hulk rage? Yeah. Well, in the first Avenger movie, they have that that line where, like, the secret is, I'm always angry. Just blur. Gotcha. And he can just blur. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
in the comics, sometimes he can't control it, sometimes he can. But it's never like, I want to Hulk and I can't. Well, I'm sure they've done that. They did that in the first Hulk <clears throat> movie. That's right. Like, he's trying to Hulk out, and it's not working, like, and they throw him out of the airplane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. He's like, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap! And then he Hulks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Ben, yes, are you got a ham rack? Ooh, I got a ham rack. So like, is is ham like the whole? Is the, how big of a personality is it becoming a part of mine? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I was mean, like, there's like a hole there, like a ring to hold the ham. Yeah, that's for the. But like, how big is a ham? The skinny like, end. You're the skinny end ham. It's like a the leg of a pig. Oh. And in like some Spanish ones, they like leave the hoof on. Mine's oh. hoofless. <laughs> so that makes it less creepy. Like yeah. a lot less creepy. And so I uh, I cured a country ham. Uh, it took like roughly a year. Or it took less than a year to cure, but it, it's like it took two months, two or three months to cure last winter, mm-hmm. and then it's just aged since then. And so I got a rack so as to <laughs> hold it in place so I can slice it when we, slice. When we eat it. Do you um, because if you don't cook it it's so basically it's prosciutto. Uh oh. And the only difference between prosciutto and country ham is country ham is smoked. But it's oh, like, other really? than that, it's the same thing, yeah. So you, and it's, it's like cured and ready. You can eat it raw. You don't have to cook it. Um, oh. So we're going to slice Good. off some thin ham. It doesn't sound safe, eating raw meat. Oh, but it's cured. <laughs> it's different. Oh. <laughs> it's like jerky. Do you not cook jerky? I don't think you have to. Mm. I think you just have to super dry it out. I am learning that I don't understand how meat works. I mean, maybe the one you buy is... I don't really know. I know you can, like, cut things into thin strips and let them dry out, and that is a way of preserving them <laughs> from very old mm. like, times. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> like, that's the origin of jerky. Yeah. And it didn't involve meat. Like, it could involve smoking it. I mean, it didn't involve uh, cooking it. Mm. So, so it's been hanging. I gave it a good squeeze the other day. Oh, yeah? The ham. <laughs> and it has, it has firmed up just in the last few months. So it was. It was always. So once it was cured, there's no more like bacteria or anything in it. Like right. it's just like the salt got all the way to the bone. So it's like uh. it's a. It's an environment that bad bugs can't live in. Uh, I gave it a squeeze. The ham. <laughs> yeah, the ham. I wanted to make sure. Uh, and it has firmed up slightly. It's starting to feel like a country ham now. Hmm. Which I appreciate. Nice. Uh, <laughs> This will all tie into the Thor movie. You'll <laughs> see you afterwards. How many hams did you make? Did you just, just one. Just a trial run? Trial ham, yeah. So next time it's going to be like 12 hams going? I might do two hams this winter. I think. Because I mean, I'm going to want some of this. Well, I think I'm going to do two because then I'll eat, well, I mean, it's a lot of ham, so you'll get some of this ham. Mm-hmm. But like, uh... I think you underestimate my ham eating capabilities. I mean, we're going to eat it at Christmas, but you can... Like, there'll be a plenty left. And then, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do two, I think, this year, and then I'm going to have one next year, around Christmas time, I think. Although, I think it's out, <laughs> I think we're traveling, so Christmas is coming to me, family, this year. Oh. And I don't know if I can fly with a ham. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know we can't probably, che- I, like, carry it on. I don't uh, know the deal with checking things. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in the bag. <laughs> like, like, like a... 12 pounds of meat? Can I just, like, put that in a bag? Like, in a bag? And I don't see why not. Yeah, I've seen people bring food on before. I mean, you can't mail it, technically. I mean, I could mail it, but, like, since I didn't use, um, nitrates or whatever, in order to ship meat that you make, you're supposed to use nitrates to make it safe. But I don't, oh. even if you're not selling it, Wait, I think what, that's the case. What do the nitrates do? They're just, like, an extra preservative that any cured meat, bacon, or whatever has it in it. Um, People make a deal about it. It's it's really only bad if you're if you're a pregnant woman. No, oh. I don't know because you don't have to say women. If you're like, if you're pregnant, <laughs> um, I don't think we are. Anyway, I didn't use any of those. Obviously, it's just salt yeah. and sugar and a little pepper. Mm. And, you know, I smoked it. Point is, that's a problem for next year. So. <laughs> uh, but I was gonna do two. And I think let one go two years and let it be a two year ham. Oh, I'm playing the long game. Like a denser, not a year. <laughs> So are you just going to, like, stop buying food at some point? Because you make your own wine, you make your own ham. Yeah. 
Or, no, you're making mead, right? Mead, but it's like a honey wine kind of yeah. thing. I guess it's simpler than wine. That's, yeah. Um, so that's just bubbling away. That's a three month. <laughs> I'll just start buying just, <laughs> just like large uh, ingredients. Like, I'll buy honey by the bucket, meat by the hawk, <laughs> by the leg, I guess. <laughs> I was going to do the eggnog again. The aged eggnog. I was for like that's only aged about a month though. Mm. Um, All this stuff takes way more patience than I have. Mm. I'm not good at the waiting game. You got to be anticipating deliciousness. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and so you just create this delicious meal that I've, you know, only one part of it will be the ham will be 11 months old by Christmas time. Mm-hmm. It'll start it in January. Uh, the meat will be three months, and I haven't even done the. Eggnog, yeah, that'll be uh, just one month old. I'm assuming eggnog can get too aged, right? I don't know, actually. What? This sounds gross and terrible. It does sound gross and terrible, but like, as with, and it's not fermented, but like, all these fermented things you don't have to worry about. But like, this, like, I don't know, it's Alton Brown's recipe. Um, he says you can age it longer, he just never has because he's never been able to wait longer to eat it. Um, <laughs> but like, it's got all the things in there that make it pretty impervious to bugs. Like, it's got a lot of sugar, first off, mm-hmm. um, in there, and then it's got a lot of alcohol. And so both of those things are things that yeah. preserve things. And kind of kill things that want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. It still sounds gross. It's, yeah, it sounds gross because it's like a bunch of various dairy, sugar, <laughs> raw eggs, eggs <laughs> and like, uh, <laughs> like equal part boobs. It's like equal boobs. Um, but it's so creamy part, and delicious. Booze. There's like a lot of booze in there. Okay. <laughs> Not... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure I did not hear that correctly. <laughs> oh. yeah, I also like I don't like eggnog to begin with. So like yeah. that So if you don't like it to begin with, it doesn't sound good. It's different than boiled custard, which is a whole other thing. Your boiled which custard. is apparently I mixed up when I was young. I think boiled custard is more what I had at like Christmas parties. I never even heard of boiled custard. It's thicker. It's basically like melted ice cream. Um, <laughs> with booze in it. So I mean, if you're going the- into it expecting <laughs> it to be that, it's kind of okay. I feel like melted ice cream would just be cream at that point, right? Yeah, but it's like, it's like flavored cream. <laughs> Warm flavored spicy so cream. So many technicalities with your food, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Real technical, <laughs> like a flavored cream melted ice cream, I think. <laughs> anyway, we're doing the other thing. <laughs> it should be a delicious Christmas. <clears throat> you know, like, this has been like our most consistent thing we've done in a while. Ham talk? Ham talk. Mm. New show, we're just getting rid of. Oh, you mean the car? What, right along, how right the name of the show. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's do ham talk from now on. Uh, Weekly updates about the ham. Yeah, I can give you weekly updates. It won't change much until we <laughs> eat it. Still salty meat. Gave it a good squeeze. Still smells <laughs> smoky. <laughs> I'm like, that's sort of where it is now. I moved it Oh. when I was varnishing in the basement. So it does not have varnish fumes <laughs> in it. So you don't have to fear that. That's, that's yeah, good. For those that week, I hung it in a different place in the house. <laughs> in a not fumey place. Wait. Are we lost? Oh, never I think we're even less than lost. I think this is exactly where we saw the Star Wars. <laughs> when I was in town, but mm-hmm. I didn't live here. Yep. Because I think, oh, this is where I got held up by a bunch of geese. <laughs> this is the where geese in this town are fucking crazy. Okay, it's a combination crazy of geese and people in this town. Because, like, <laughs> I remember I had, like, I hadn't quite moved here yet, but I was about to. Yep. And then, like, we, uh, uh, let's see, I was, like, driving on this exact road, and then right up here, which is, like, a four-lane thing here, there were, like, a line of geese crossing, and every person had, part like, stopped and was waiting for the geese, but and I was no. like, this is crazy, <laughs> we're, this is crazy, right, like, we're not, uh, and, like, they waited for it, and I, I was, like, waiting for a movie and, like, hollering at it, and, like, and then, and then, like, I got up there, and then, like, I was scooting forward, because, like, I'm not waiting any geese, they can get yeah. out of my way. Didn't get out of my way. No, they didn't. Like, they, 
don't care. I had to be a person waiting for geese to cross because, like, it got close enough that it was below the front of my car, and I was like, I'm going to run over a goose in front of a bunch of people. And, like, very I slowly run over I should goose. very slowly run over a goose. Um, anyway, so that's... Ooh, it looks so fancy. fancy. All right, we'll be back with uh, much more educated thoughts about the Thor movie. Yeah. <laughs> more ham talk. Ham talk. Ben, I have bad news. What's that? After a certain point of the night, they turn off the butter machine. What? I could not rebutter the popcorn. Oh, man. I mean, we severely <laughs> buttered it, but there's only so much butter penetration you get from the top when it's yeah. a tall, skinny cylinder. My lips feel so funky right now. Mm, I feel like I could just, like, run and slide across this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I had been out of, like, corner of the car right now, It'd be fine on its own. Yeah, I would just like just hold rub it, it on my face. Just my, <laughs> just my lip, my mouth and lips have sufficient butter. I shouldn't um, have excess, like free range to butter, apparently. I know, that's just, you know, we got our money's worth out of that. <laughs> <laughs> but the movie was good too. The movie was good. <laughs> 98% butter. It was mostly butter. It, I'm gonna, my memories of that movie are gonna be you know, like butter. flavored with butter. Like, mm. what do you think of the tour? What do you think of the tour movie? Butter. Just to be clear, we got popcorn. <laughs> went to the like the I don't know what kind of self control other moviegoers have, but like we went to the first one, buttered it, reconsidered, buttered it again, and then walking just across the lobby towards the uh, the entrance to the theater, found another butter machine and felt like we needed to utilize it. And so, <laughs> and then they, apparently they turn it off, which yeah. to me makes me think. So we were wondering, is this like a heated butter system? Like, Maybe. does it need to stay liquid? They have, like, the butter turner. Yeah, I think there's a butter turner in there. Oh, man. But we did see a movie. Yeah. We did more than get popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and so it was good. Uh, I mean, they're all sort of, they're sort of, like, action-y comedy, not very stressful. Which yeah. is what the Thor movies are, right? Like, this is just... Yeah, it was, it was turn good. your brain. It was less serious than the second one. Yeah, yeah, I felt like this was, I mean, there was, you know, death and destruction and stuff, but they were cracking jokes the whole time. And Every other second was a joke. I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Like, you're going just to sort of turn your mind off and enjoy it. Yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah. Uh, spoilers again. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, lots of spoilers. I wasn't, like, I thought the bad person was really cool, but it wasn't, yeah. like, scary to me individually. But I don't she know was if it was badass, supposed though. to. She was badass. So, like, half the time I was like, oh, man. I guess she just has, like, her ability is, like, generating swords and knives and throwing Yeah, she makes spiky things. Like, she just, spiky things, people, is her deal. And also, I didn't realize it was Kate Blanchett. I, I realized it, but I couldn't remember her name. Yeah. But I was like, oh, I've seen her in many things. Oh, so, was Matt Damon in that movie? Which one? Um, the Loki actor. Like, when Thor goes to Asgard and you're watching a play. Was that Matt Damon? It looked like Matt Damon, uh, but I don't know if it was Matt Damon. I don't remember... I don't remember now but well enough. If it, if it wasn't Matt Damon, he looked enough like Matt Damon. That would be a great, like, <laughs> cameo. Yeah, but that'd be, like, a good what the fuck, like... It yeah. could be. <laughs> and I tried to pay attention for the credits, and I saw, like, actor Thor and actor Odin, but I didn't catch actor Loki. You think they would have... Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if I just missed it. Well, I just, just something that looks like it. My question. Yes. Um, and I realize there, are, you know, this isn't like a sealed up plot hole list plot. It's meant to be kind of a fun, goofy movie. Yeah. But uh, the devil's anus, <laughs> the like giant. So giant I'm, I'm presuming that like that whole planet was just like the garbage dump of the, yeah. the universe. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's um, the question I got. But that giant portal, was that just all, like, like, is Asgard just, like, the most uh, environmentally unconscious, like, throwing yeah. out shit? Like, is it all just going straight to that? Because they came out from under and then arose up. Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, like, sure, that, that's maybe that's true. Maybe that's just where they put all the junk. Because mm-hmm. uh, they immediately rose up into Asgard. Yeah. Through Second thing. If she knew the devil's anus went right to Asgard, why was she like, it'll take us 18 months because I'd prefer not to drive through the oh. scary thing? Well, because she said it was... I think she's more worried about having a ship that could survive going uh, through the anus. Sure, because it's a much more... 
Yeah, because like they said they could take a ship and go through one of the other portals. It would take forever. But they need... That's like they're sciencing out about... Sure, sure. We need a special ship. Yeah. That's why... We need to explain why we're not jumping in my ship. Also, there was a joke about the hammer giving Thor a hand job or vice versa. There was! <laughs> What there the was, fuck? What are you doing, movie? There was a few penis moments here <laughs> in this. Like, I was... I don't expect, like, jokes on Wyatt's cry, but, like... Hey, it was... I guess they went for that PT-13 thing. Like, Man, I they thought wrote he was... That. He was really funny. He's the... Oh, I don't know his name. He's the fellow from uh, Flight of the Concords who's the boss, I think. Maybe? Uh, yeah, I don't know you're talking about. Was yeah. he in the movie? I think he was the, the rock guy. Oh. Or I'm just... <laughs> Really Maybe. mixing up my New Zealanders, <laughs> <laughs> but like he's one, he's a Kiwi of some sort. Like this is like, that's his. Uh, <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure it's him. Um, Jeff Goldblum was probably yeah. my favorite character in the whole thing, <laughs> because he's like weird and creepy and funny and like I don't know. I thought he did great. <laughs> they, they, I bet he had fun with this role. Yeah, like, I think everyone had, was just yeah. Having I fun. think. They're getting like a pretty big, like Kate Blanchett. Like they're getting a pretty big cast list yeah. of like real people. So like I think they're just having fun. Mm-hmm. They did use an unfortunate thing that most Marvel Marvel movies do. They introduce the villain and kill off the villain in the same movie. Oh, in the same movie, yeah, yeah. I the, thought like, so. Exceptions, but having no idea what this was going to be, I thought they were going to like steal the sword so she'd be stuck there I guess she could still and then then it would be like oh she can get out but it'll take her a long time yeah to like manually fly like, you, to earth I forgot you missed a couple of other movies yeah I did a couple missed a couple um, movies yeah apparently there are secret secret pathways out of Asgard like Loki knows of a couple of them yeah that he was able to go like go to earth or whatever okay also, so the big ship, they made a big deal about that little ship going through the Devil's Anus, and then the big ship immediately showed up. Did it go through the Devil's Anus? Was it capable of that? I mean, it must have. It didn't take him 18 months to get there. Oh, the big ship, like yeah. the after credits thing? Or, no, during the movie. No, not that giant. I don't even know what that is. But, like, the like one that I eventually escaped off of, like, arrived and picked them all up. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess if... Um, I think she said there were two ships in there. Oh, you're right. They probably laid the ground for that. There's two ships that'll make it. Yeah. The huge one and his one. So they probably made this. So the other one. I do... I have an issue with part of the movie. What's that? The Hulk? They made a big deal when he turns to Bruce Banner. Like, if I turn back to the Hulk, I don't know if I'll be able to come back to being Bruce. Yeah. And they make a big deal, and then he turns to the Hulk again, and they don't mention it again. I guess it was sort of... I was thinking about that, too. Um, like I was, this they, they didn't like. I feel like they should have changed the music there when he decided to go back into the Hulk, because it, it's supposed to be. I, I don't know. They kind of built it up like, oh, he he was trapped there for two years. If I do it again, I'll never be able to undo it. And yeah. I feel like this was his sacrifice. Like, oh, okay, I'll just. This is my sacrifice. I'll maybe be the Hulk yeah. forever, but I'm going to help people. Um, and they made but then joke. they just like made the same thing, and then they made a joke about him jumping down there. Yeah, they made a joke. Like, Greg, it was funny. Which was funny, but like. I kind of missed out the... He kind of negated that earlier plot point, right? Of, like... Yeah, that's pretty, like, Bruce Banner sacrificing himself. Yeah. But, like, kind of a big, they make a joke about it. Then you have, like, a Hulk fight. Another Hulk joke. Then he's got... Hulk is standing around at the end. But, like, they don't address Bruce Banner at all. They don't. So, like, I guess he's just Hulk now? Or, like, or maybe he escapes again. But, like... Anyway, pretty big sacrifice that they glossed over. Yeah. Also, I guess that whole shallow sea, that that whole water, the sea that they were going over, is pretty shallow because like Hulk was standing in it. Yeah, for parts of it, they used like dragged under for a part, and then yeah, it was an indeterminate depth. I think. Yeah, I figured out something watching that though. Yeah. You know, like the worst thing in the movie ever is when like an animal gets hurt. Yeah. If it doesn't make the whimper sounds, it's not as bad. Yeah. Like also, you saw the giant wolf dog. Yeah, it was kind of undead. But yes. yes. But it never whimpered. You're saying like, okay, whatever. No whimper. Don't really care. And it just like falls on the cliff and you never actually see it die. So something visceral about the sound of it is, is yeah. the most sad upsetting puppy part. sounds. Yeah, there were no sad puppy sounds. And who knows, it's paddling around down there. Yeah. I thought he should have just grabbed oh, it and thrown it in the beginning. <laughs> like just thrown it. Yeah. Like if I there's mean, a giant thing. like thro- I mean, it fell away. off into space and then... Well, okay, whatever happened to it, it got exploded. So, like, <laughs> it's dead. Yeah. But, like, we didn't hear the whimper. 
also, okay, I mean, I had a lot of fun, and it's fun to sort of pick on yeah. it, but, like, that he got the, 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 like, crown at the very beginning, and was like, oh, we have to keep this away from the fire, because that's how you'll come back to life. I'm going to put it safely <laughs> ten feet away from it, on a pedestal in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> like, you could have an earthquake, and I could just fall in there. <laughs> anyway. Like, with all the other, like, earth-shattering weapons. Yeah. Maybe don't... Did you have a favorite part? Um... Now that I can think of off the top of my head. Like, it's pretty just, like, a fun... It's just fun laughs and off. people getting tossed around and fighting. I like uh, that the music was pretty much Tron. Yeah. Like, I don't know yeah. why they've been with, like, a synth, like, 80s vibe with the soundtrack, but... Like, yeah, I don't know. I'll I'm digging it. it, though. I like that. <laughs> like, it, it um, kind of... Fit. I thought there would be more laser guns and spaceships go, just by hearing the soundtrack. Yeah. There were some, but there... You'd think there'd be more yeah. with the amount of synth stuff. <laughs> um, Wait, so, okay, here's what I... Uh, Thor heals because of his power? I, mean, I think he's tougher to kill. I mean, he definitely got stabbed through the arms. It was oh. not a big deal later. Thinking, and through the chest and back. Yeah. And then, like, it wouldn't really matter. And I was like, okay, well, maybe he has healing something. I th- but then they killed his eye, and that's just dead now. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, the god powers help heal the stabby wounds. But the eye was just, yeah. we're keeping that. Yeah. I mean, you gotta make him, I don't know, whatever. Badass. <laughs> I guess. Fought my sister once. Make him look like his daddy. I liked her big antler things. Yeah. I couldn't decide if they were moving or not. Sometimes that's. Sometimes they, they seem like they're going through. Sometimes they seem like they're pointed forward. Yeah, I think they changed, but we didn't like see them move as much. I like the gatekeeper dude. The old one or the new one? Um, Idris. Idris. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like like the actor and the he was cool in that role. He looked like a badass. Like, he did look like a badass, and I like that he did. Uh, like they did it before, where he's like definitely doing something, but then he's like talking to Thor as he does it yeah. when he's like got the sight like or whatever. Yeah. That was like that was a cool ability. Like let me, th- like he lets Thor see through his eyes and can't speak. Yeah, be there water. with him. I liked that a lot. I thought that was that yeah. was a cool. They've done it before, but that was just a cool scene. And um, he just they can just always be like, yo. Um, I thought they were gonna do so the little lackey guy, who took over for the gatekeeper. Oh yeah, I thought. So it ended up, you know, he turned, he changed his mind and shot the yeah, things. Like I thought he was, was like planning, like he was going to, at a key point, mm-hmm. like, like use the thing to summon Thor, and Loki, or whatever. Like uh, I thought he was like actively against it, but it turns out he was just sort of a he was a dick. douchey guy. Like you knew exactly what was going to happen, like the moment, like she showed up in Asgard. Like yeah, I I thought he was going like use her axe against her and they'd be like yeah I was sure he was going to turn on her at some point but I thought it was more planned because it definitely like I don't know I mean the way they left it was was like the way they left it was that he the only reason he stopped is because they lost like he totally would have been her executioner yeah oh man yeah no he's a shit had confusing feelings about a villain who's beautiful Kate Blanchett (laughs) she was saucy she was saucy and antlery. And murdery. Very murdery. But like, as far as, like, bad guys go, like, I could get, I see her reasoning. Kind of. Oh, I mean, like, a good story behind, like, why she's... Like, like she's pissed that her dad, I guess. Well, yeah, and she, like, was built, like, raised and sort of cultivated to be this, like, destructive force. Yeah, and then he changes his mind. Changes but she his don't mind. Feel, is it because he was having Thor? That seems like a dumb reason to change his mind. Yeah. But it's still, like, she pointed out that those things happen at the same time, but it seems like a dumb reason. Yeah. I think it just the same time, maybe. Hmm. We, we accomplished this. I got a new son. We're going to try again. Yeah. <laughs> like, here, uh, Redo. Now we've got some peace. We're just going to, you know. Also, where was she? I guess he, she was kept away because of like, his power. Yeah, but you know, where? <laughs> I didn't uh, think of that. Just somewhere. Just somewhere spiky, I guess. <laughs> Well, we made it back. Yes. That, that was Thor. It was a good movie. I liked it. I would recommend it. It was uh, fun. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll, I'll have to look up what that, that ship was after the credits. Oh, yeah. Giant skull ship. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> but, yeah. 
Because, like, most Marvel movies these days, like, they've gone so nerdy, I don't recognize her. gone deep. Like, I don't recognize that. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's a thing. Same thing with the Guardians. The Galaxy 2, like, they make that golden person. Yeah. Adam, like, well, and that's what we talked about in so many of those. Like, we, we were like, well, I think they're referencing something, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> like all these different people are showing up, and they look significant, mm. but I don't know who any of them are. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it like, well, I know this is a reference. I don't get it. Cool. Yeah. Wikipedia lay that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you for hanging out. We saw a movie. That was fun. Bye.